Hello, friends. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but we, true Christians, are in a war. The world is against us. The world hates us. The world wants us gone. When we get raptured out of here, the world is going to rejoice, thinking they won the battle, but they didn't. God is just taking us out of here and protecting us because he is going to pour his wrath out on them for their evilness. I got a few scriptures I want to share with you, y'all. And this video should be pretty short. I'm going to start with 1 Samuel chapter 12. It's up near the front of the Bible. Somewhere before Kings. First Samuel chapter 12, verse 47. No, I'm sorry, First Samuel chapter 17. Yeah, there you go. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. All this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Bam, y'all. God's got this. God is in control. Even when it doesn't look like he is, he is in control. He's letting the evil people do their evil things. But he's going to get his glory when he comes back and straightens them out and takes care of them himself. All right, next we got Second Chronicles chapter 20. Verse 15. And he said, Hearken ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou, King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours. The battle, my friend, is not yours, but God's. The battle is not yours, but it is God's. And we're going to end. It looks like I can't even read my own right, and it looks like back in First Samuel again which is up close to the front of the Bible, just before the books of Kings. 1 Samuel chapter 41. Well, 1 Samuel doesn't have 41 chapters. Oh, that's Isaiah. I, I say for Isaiah, not one essay for 1 Samuel. I'm goofy, y'all. I am so sick. I don't. I can't even think right. I didn't sleep at all last night. I don't think. Isaiah, come on, Isaiah. I know where you're at, but I can't find you. Isaiah. 
There it is right there. 1 Samuel chapter 41, verses 10 through 13. Fear thou not. Just stop your worrying about what's going on. Don't be afraid of what's going on. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. This is God speaking, y'all. Er Abba, Father, Daddy. This is our Daddy speaking. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. <coughs> I coughed all night, y'all. I can't wait for the doctor's appointment tomorrow. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee <coughs> shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. God's going to take care of them. He can do a whole lot better job of, at it than we could. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. And that's that. God has our back, y'all. We are his children. He's going to fight our wars for us. So don't you even try. You're going to mess it up. Just sit back. Have your faith in God, knowing that that the victory is his. That's what he likes. He likes having victories and he likes being glorified. And he causes things to happen so that he will be victorious and so that he will be glorified. So all we got to do is sit back and put all of our faith in him. That's it, y'all. I told you this would be a short video. I love you. God bless you. And I'll be back with your daily Bible readings. I already did my short. Y'all check out my short. <laughs>